Hey everybody, it's Katie. I'm here with a really big book haul. I've got about 17 books that I picked up, um, most of which I got at a Books A Million, which I had never been to that store at before in my life. And I went in there yesterday and just kind of went a little book crazy. Uh, they were having their big end of the end of the year sale. They're all their bargain books for buy two, get one free. So I got a bunch of free books and a bunch of books for under five dollars. So I'm just gonna dig right in. And there are also two other books that I picked up from my Works Book Exchange. We have just a spot that people put books in if they're done with them. And I kind of came across two books I thought I might be interested in reading, so I picked them up. So I'm gonna do those two first. The first one is um, by Nicholas Sparks. It's Dear John. I've actually read this book before, but I don't own a copy of it. I think I rented it. I think I borrowed it from the library or something. But I saw this cover and I just love Chatham Tating, so I picked it up. I don't typically like book covers, books that have the movie cover on them, but he's just so stinking adorable, so I picked this up. It was also free because it was in my book exchange. I also picked up Hearts on a String by Chris Radish. Um, this is more of an adult contemporary type of book. Um, I read the back and thought it was pretty interesting. Um, it's about four women that end up sharing a hotel room because their um, plane is delayed and about their, their friendships and how they kind of develop a friendship over this night. So I'm kind of looking forward to reading this. I've never heard of this Chris Radish person, but hopefully this is good, and once I'm done reading this one, I hopefully will get a review up for you guys. These two books are the ones that I got for free from work. I picked one other book up at Target. It's called Duty at What Cost by Michelle Condor. It is a romance novel about a princess and the guy that is protecting her. So it's a short little read. I can probably devour this in a couple hours. And these are kind of fun to have every once in a while. I do occasionally like to have a fluff novel. And that's pretty much what that is. Next, all the rest of the books are the ones that I got at Books A Million. So some of which I just picked up because I thought they looked good. Some of them are ones that I've been looking for or that I've seen either on Goodreads or in other booktubers' videos. So I'm going to kind of dive right into them. The first two books I picked up are actually from a series. They're but they're but it's book two and book four of the Fairy Path series. But I thought the covers were so pretty, and they were both for three dollars, even. Though I don't have the first one yet, I couldn't pass up these two books for $3 because they're typically a $9 book, and I got them for 3 So I picked these two up, and hopefully I'll be able to start this series once I get the first one, which would be The Fairy Path. And then the third one is The Sorcerer's King. Sorcerer, Sorcerer King. So I'll have to pick those two up once I um, get a chance. So I got these two. I also picked up the second book in the Dark Guardian novel series. This one is called Full Moon. The first one is called Moonlight. They are werewolf books. Other than that, I don't know a ton about them, but it seemed pretty interesting. It got a pretty good reading. I had my good, pretty good rating on Goodreads. I, when I'm ever I'm at the bookstore, I always have my Goodreads app open and scanning books to see how other people rate them, and it had a pretty decent review. So. Again, it was $3. I couldn't really pass it up, so I picked it up. Now I just have to get the first one and the third and fourth one. So I'm first going to get the first one before I pick up three and four to make sure I like one and two. So, but I picked up two. The next book that I picked up is Unleashed by Christopher Reeson. Reese, it's R-E-I-S-Z. Um, again, this is not another another book that I hadn't heard of, but the synopsis seemed pretty good. It's a shapeshifter novel, so instead of werewolves necessarily, they do still turn into wolves, but they're shaped. They the back says they're shapeshifters, not necessarily werewolves. So, again, it got a pretty good rating on. Um, Goodreads and it was only $3.97 so you kind of can't pass up a decent size it's a pretty decent size book for $3.97 so I picked this one up I picked up another werewolf book this one though is actually not a young adult book it is a just fiction book and it is called Blood Law it is by Kieran Tabek T-A-B-K-E 
Sorry if I'm butchering your names. I'm really terrible at them. This is a Blood, Blood Moon Rising novel. I'm not sure which number in the series this one is. I know I knew when I was in the store, but I forget at this point. This is, again, another werewolf book. Um, it seemed pretty good, so I thought I'd pick it up for $3.97. I also picked up a contemporary fiction novel. Um, unfortunately, the sticker is right on. It is called Men and Dogs. It's by Katie Crouch. And this is about a woman whose father goes missing on a fishing trip, and 20 years later, she comes back home after she and her husband divorce and becomes obsessed with trying to find out what happened to her dad. So the synopsis looked pretty good. It was a $3 book. I thought that I would give it a try. Um, this author also wrote Girls in Trucks, which I've never heard of that one either, so I um, thought that might be interesting to find out. If I like this one, I might pick up Girls in Trucks, so that's that one. This is actually the only book that I picked up that was full price, but the synopsis just kind of really caught my eye, so I figured I'd pick it up, and I figured since I was getting all the other books for such an inexpensive price, picking up one book at full price wasn't going to break my bank. So this is The Isle of Night. It is the first book in the Watchers series. This is by Veronica Wolf. It is a vampire book, but it is about this main character who is Annalise. She is not a vampire. She's a human who gets chosen to go to this isle to train to be partnered up with a vampire. I'm kind of assuming this guy's a vampire. Again, I haven't read any of these books since I just got them yesterday. So she's actually training with the vampires to run missions and things of that nature. So um, this looked pretty good, so I picked this one up. And then I also got a whole bunch of hardback books. So all of those other books were all, um, these all were paperbacks, but I did get a couple hardback novels. I got Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. I have actually read the rest of this series. Um, I l actually listened to them all on an audiobook that that I rented from or borrowed from the library, but they did not have this in an audiobook, and it was $3.97, and I enjoyed the rest of the series. This is actually a, like a companion book. It's It was supposed to go in between the third and the fourth book, and it's a bunch of short stories about some of the other characters besides the two main characters in the story. So I'm looking forward to reading this since I enjoyed the other four books in the series and hopefully once I'm done this I'll do an entire series review since I've already read them and I can just do an entire series review as opposed to the individual books but I did pick this up as well. I also picked up Eve which was recommended to me through Goodreads. It was one of the Goodreads recommendations to me. This book is by Anna Carey. I thought the cover was really pretty. Um, the take the actual cover without the um, dust jacket was very pretty as well. Um, so I picked this up. This is a dystopia novel. Other than that, I don't know a ton about it. I'm assuming it's about a girl named Eve, but um, I am looking forward to reading this one as well. I also picked up Once in a Lifetime by Elaine Schreiber. This book is another werewolf story. I seem to have picked up a lot of those. <laughs> I guess they're kind of calling to me. So I'm looking forward to reading this as well. Again, I don't know much more about it than that, but I, once I finish it, I will do a review. I think this is actually the first book in a series as well. I think I've kind of got a couple new series, book ones or twos. I try not to buy three or four if I don't have one and two. So I think this might be one or two of that series. So the next book that I picked up was Bewitching by Alex Flynn. Um, this is the same author that wrote Beastly that was turned into a movie. And this one is more stories from Kendra about other curses that she has used. So I did pick this one up as well. I thought the cover on this was very pretty as well. I also picked up Tempest by Julia Cross. The main character in this is actually a male. It's, his name is Jackson, and he can travel through time. So I'm interested to see this. I know that this is a series, and this is the first one. I've actually been really looking forward to reading this, so I picked up the first one. 
The last book that I picked up from Books A Million was Fateful by Claudia Gray. This book is about a girl named Tess who really wants to escape the pressures of her family. Fortunately, she and her family are on, a, on the Titanic, so not really sure how that's all going to turn out for Tess, but I'm going to read it and see how it goes. Um, I know that there is a werewolf aspect to this book, but I'm not sure much further than that what it is. So. The very last book that I'm going to include in this book haul is a sequel to a book that I got for Christmas, which was The Selection by Kira Cass. I absolutely love this book, and when I finished it, I knew I had to go out and get the next one, so I did. And I went out and bought The Elite. Um, this is another book that I did pay full price for, but I didn't get it at Books Million. I actually got this one at Barnes & Noble, but I could not pass it up. I loved this book, and I'm doing a review about this one actually right after I finished filming this and had to run out and pick this up because it was just too good and I really needed to know what happened next. So I've actually already started this book, but I wanted to get these videos done while I had the chance, so I figured I would stop reading and record some stuff for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my book haul and I do have a order coming from book outlet that should be coming Monday, so hopefully next week sometime I'll have a chance to do another book haul, and then I will not be buying books for a while since I have bought a ton of them in the last week and a half, and now I need to do a lot of reading, so instead of getting a whole bunch of book haul videos in, I'll get a bunch of book review videos up, so hopefully I should be able to get those up here in the next couple weeks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!